Welcome to Coach Chanel Design Studio's how-to videos. Today you're going to learn how to save a garment designer pattern as a PDF to print to a plotter printer. We're going to start with our basic default pattern. And let's pretend for time's sake that all the points have been moved to where they need to be. There are a couple of things we're going to want to do to our pattern pieces. Let's say this is a sewn garment. We're going to add our global seam allowance. We'll just pretend we want a half inch all the way around. We're also going to want to display final pattern. This is going to show our notch marks. And the last thing, very important, we want to scale to actual size. Because in Garment Designer, what you see is what you get, and this is what we want printing out. Now if we are printing on 8.5 by 11, you can see what pattern pieces are printing out on what pieces of paper by doing two things. First you want to show pagination. This is going to separate our pattern pieces into pages. A better way to view this is our print preview also under display. So this shows us that the first bodice piece is printing on pages 1 through 6. And this comes in handy if you're printing a small piece, small pattern piece that perhaps you only need to print one page. Then you can go into your print menu and you can set it up to where you're printing from, you know, pages one to whatever. So you're just getting the pattern piece that you need. Like I said before, in Garment Designer, what you see is what you get. So right now, Everything we're looking at is going to print out. This green is our sloper. The blue lines indicate the dimensions. And of course, our pattern pieces themselves. Now, if you go under display, you can actually uncheck show dimensions. So those disappear. And you can uncheck show both to where you're just showing the pattern. And that's all you're going to have print out. Depending on what you're trying to do, you might need that extra information. So this will help when you're printing to save paper if you just want to remember this. We're going to go ahead and get out of print preview. Let's say we want to print on one big piece of paper or maybe you know each pattern piece on a big piece of paper so we're not having to tape them together with the eight and a half by 11 pages. There is a way to do this and we'll need to save it as a PDF in order to do so. But there's something we need to do first before we can save to PDF and that would be to set our paper size. So under file, go to page setup. In our page setup window under paper size, the default is the US letter or eight and a half by 11. We want to go to Manage Custom Sizes. And as you see, I already have a custom size of 20 by 30 in here. Let's say I don't want that in there. You can hit the minus sign to delete it, or you can hit the plus sign to add a custom size. And I recommend naming your custom size. Let's put that 20 by 30 back in here. So go ahead and name your, your paper size and hit return on your keyboard to, to confirm the name change. And then set the paper size to what it needs to be. You can also uh, set the margins as well if you want the pattern to maybe print all the way to the edge. And this is something you'll kind of want to mess around with. And as you see, our, our pagination changed. Those lines for the 8.5 by 11 pagination disappeared. And if we go to print preview, we see now that we have one, two, possibly three pieces of paper that are going to need to be used to print out this pattern. And just go ahead and mess around with it, you know, see, see what paper sizes work better for the type of pattern that you're using, and you'll find what works best for you. So let's go ahead and get out of print preview. Now from here we're going to save the pattern as a PDF and for Macintosh users this is fairly simple. You go to File and Print. A print window will open and in the bottom left hand corner you'll see PDF. If you click on this you can save as PDF. 
Be sure to save it in a place where it's easy to find. Perhaps you have a folder that you're saving this to. And we'll just name it Pattern 2. Let's say this is our Pattern 2 pattern. So it saves your pattern as PDF. Now, Windows users, it's a little bit different. Unfortunately, Windows users don't have a PDF option under the print window. So if you are a Windows user, there's something you can do. Go ahead and open up a browser, and I, I started off here just typing in free PDF utility for Windows, and it gave me several options. Now, one we like to tell our customers about is Cute PDF. This is a free download for PDF utility, just like uh, bullzip.com is another one I like to mention to people. Adobe has one. Usually you need to be set up with them, otherwise they give you a 30-day free trial. So whatever works for you. For example's sake, we're going to go ahead and use bullzip.com. Something else you'll want to do is install Adobe Acrobat Reader if you don't already have it on your, your Windows computer. You'll go to this website, get.adobe.com forward slash reader, and click on Install Now. So we can view the PDF we are about to save. Now Windows print setup is a little different than Mac. Here under size, you're going to go through the different size options and find the one that's best suited for you. I've done this already, I've decided that A1 is the right size for me, and once I have clicked on this, I'm going to go and view the pagination and see that I have a pattern piece on each page. So I think that's going to work for me. Um, with this, you'll probably have to play around with it and see what works best for you as far as sizes go. And there is a way to check to make sure what the page size is once you go into the Adobe file that you've saved, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, we're going to go ahead and go to our print window. And in our print window for Windows, you'll see here the bull zip PDF printer. Once you've highlighted that, go ahead and click on print. From here it opens up a dialog window to create a file. Under file name we can see where this file is going to be saved. This describes the location through the file name. I have named my file pattern 1 and once I've named it and decided on the location, I go ahead and click save. From here we can open that PDF, and when we open the PDF to view it, you can go under File and Properties to view the size of the page. We can see by the document properties that the page size is basically 24 by 34. So we'll have that information when we go to print to whatever plotter we choose to print to. Thank you so much for joining us today and please join us again for future Cochanel how-to videos.